Welcome watching another tutorial. We have successfully finished tutorials how to repair Karcher HD 5/15C and Nilfisk C131. And this time we focus on another Nilfisk hobby class machine and it's Nilfisk E, E as an excellent, 140.3. What we will repair is following. We will replace oil seals, water seals, we will replace star stop ventil, we will show you how to remove and replace non-return valve and few more things like o-rings etc. What we will need for the setting apart this or disassembling this machine. That's the focus of the first part that you are watching now. We will use rever reversible ratchet like this, number 25, or maybe we won't use it because it's, it's for removing the start-stop ventil, so maybe we won't use it today. But we will need things like a flat screwdriver, maybe pliers uh, and silicone grease and things like that. And of course we will need as well the screwdriver Torx 20. As you can see, we have positioned we have positioned the power washer like this. It will be easier to take out all the parts. And we will start. We will remove two Torx 20 screws from the bottom side. Then we remove the feed. And next we will be removing the styling cover by hand. There are two hooks in the top of the cabinet, they must be in correct position. So first we will start with these two torque screws. cover with our hands like this we can get rid of the filter next step we will remove one Torx 20 screw from here and remove the MPU floating cover. It's this. As you can see, this one is damaged a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Make sure the foam in the air barrier is placed correct when mounting. I'm talking about this, this part. We can get rid of this as well. The next step will be the micro switch, micro switch can be removed either by hand or with the thin flat screwdriver. I will try it with my hand. Yeah, it works. So it's all right now. The micro switch is disconnected, disconnected from star stop valve. And now we can remove the one Torx 20 screw from over here. And 
and take out this part. Do it gently. You have to push the button on the top a little bit. Now we can disconnect the electric cables from the induction motor with pliers like this. Just remember how they are placed and where they are connected or take a photo or watch video whenever you will be connecting them back, please. Okay, we have it. And now we've got, we're supposed to have eight screws that, eight Torx 20 screws that they have to remove. Four over here and four over here. I got only seven because I'm missing one, but it doesn't really matter. And I can undo <coughs> the electric cable. Sometimes it's better to do it with your hands, sometimes to use cordless screwdriver, it's up to you. You should be able to disconnect the, this part and to take it out. As you can see, it went nice and smoothly. And now we've got access to motor. But what we have to do is we have to take away the U-pin With the flat screwdriver like this, this is this U pin. So we can disconnect the internal hose like this. We have it. Just be careful now, don't lose the there is a spring and the non return valve. So, make sure you use something like that to take out the spring. Don't lose it, please. And the non return valve as well. Looks like this. So we have disconnected everything and now we can take out the induction motor out of the body from the power washer and under normal circumstances it's enough to do it this way 
whenever you need to replace the oil seals, water seals, inlet and outlet valves or something else or but whenever you need access to internal holes what you have to do more is to remove one more Torx 20 screw that's it and we have successfully disassembled or set apart the main part of the, the front part of the power washer I won't disconnect and remove the reel and the back part I won't need I don't need it because I don't I'm not going to repair anything over there so that's basically it that's all what I wanted to tell you in the first part of this video tutorial related to Milfisk E140.3 and the part is called how to set apart the power washer. In the following parts we will, as I have mentioned, replace, remove and replace oil seals, water seals, inlet and outlet valves. I'll show you how to replace start stop ventil and non-return valve and then how to reassemble back whole machine. In the final part maybe we will test if everything works as it should and we will do the car wash or something similar. So that's everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and good luck.